This is the solution to written homework 48. <clears throat> okay, so find a formula for P. Okay, so the story uh, says that the uh, price is proportional to the difference between demand and supply. So if demand is uh, bigger than supply, uh, over time the price will go up and if demand is less than supply over time the price will go down so that's the meaning of that um, of that differential equation so <clears throat> we'll find the general solution first so dp dt is K and then D is 50 minus 2P uh, minus S is 5 plus 3P and simplifying this that is K is equal to so that would be 45 minus 5p. <coughs> and then, just to make our lives a little bit simpler, to factor out a 5 and get uh, 5k multiplied by 9 minus p. Okay, then we can separate the variables <coughs> and get 1 divided by uh, 9 minus p dp is equal to 5k dt. <coughs> the variables are separated, so we can anti differentiate now. So then that would be negative log <coughs> absolute value 9 minus p is. 5k t plus an unknown constant. <coughs> so we can uh, say that this is log of absolute value 9 minus p is uh, negative. 5kt minus c. So then absolute value 9 minus p is <coughs> exponential negative c exponential negative 5kt. <coughs> and then we can drop the absolute value to get 9 minus p is plus or minus exponential of negative c <coughs> exponential negative 5k t <coughs> and then subtract 9 negative p is negative 9 plus or minus exponential negative c exponential negative 5k t <clears throat> so then p is 9 uh, plus or minus <clears throat> exponential negative c exponential uh, negative 5 kt so now c was an arbitrary constant so exponential of negative c is an arbitrary positive constant, but because we have plus or minus here, <coughs> that means that that is just some arbitrary constant. So plus m e to negative 5 kt, because m 
equal to plus or minus exponential negative c is an arbitrary constant. <clears throat> so now we can find the uh, specific solution when we know that tp equal to 0, 4 is a solution. <clears throat> so if we plug in t is 0 and p is 4, that should solve it. So 9 is 4 plus m exponential negative 5k times 0. So that means that 4 is 9 plus m. <coughs> so that tells us that m is negative 5. So as a result, the answer is that p is 9 minus 5 exponential negative 5 kt. That's the answer.